Fish Michael. We now take you to Cape Coast. A two day training workshop on small pelagic fisheries reporting for some selected journalists from western and central regions is ongoing. It's expected to boost the understanding and capacities of the journalists in the fisheries sector and equip them with the requisite knowledge to provide quality reportage. It is being organized by Hen Puano in partnership with journalists for responsible fisheries and environment. Our correspondent, Kinsley Nanabuedu, is part of the training and joins us. Good morning, Kinsley. Good morning, Kinsley Nanabuidu. I am on. I am on. Kinsley, good morning. I can hear the voice of the facilitator in the background. Has the training begun? Well, uh, thank you very much. The training just began uh, about an hour ago, and what they are seeking to do, that is Yen Empuano, which is our coast, uh, one of the CSOs in the fisheries sector in the western region, they have decided to uh, put together media uh, personnel and journalists uh, to, of course, uh, train them in the area of fisheries and build their capacity so they can talk about the issues uh, in a very in that manner. Uh, to them, the issue of fisheries, of course, uh, of, is coming to the limelight, but they think much more need to be done. Uh, so far as the IEU, uh, meaning the illegal, unreported, and unregulated uh, fishery activities are concerned. So this is what they are doing. The journalists are from Western and of course uh, Central regions, and they is being done in partnership with uh, the Ghana uh, Journalists for Responsible Fisheries and Environment. So that is exactly what they are, are, are doing. They have taken the journalists through uh, so many activities and so many uh, programs, things that they need to know so far as the issues are concerned. Before I talk to the facilitator, uh, who happens to be Mr. Kofi Aboga, uh, he uh, is the one facilitating the program. They organize it. But I have been joined uh, by the Western Regional Director for Fisheries. And uh, he's going to tell us some of the issues uh, so far as fisheries are concerned. The state of the pelagic uh, sector, the pelagic fisheries, for instance, what he can tell us about. Chief, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And you're welcome to GTV, Real New Time. What can you tell us about the state of our pelagic fish? In, in our ocean, what's the current situation? Yeah, I think um, when now we are reaching the fisheries, especially in the pelagic sector, it's depleting, it's going down, and there's a need to take drastic measures to be able to stop the dwindling of our stocks. Right now, from the data around 2019, 20, uh, 2019, that's in uh, 1990, we're about 600 metric tons, 600,000 metric tons, but now we are getting about 60 metric tons. 60 metric, 60,000 metric tons. So it has, we are depleting our resources and we need to take drastic measures to be able to rebuild their stocks. All right. You didn't tell us your name first. You will tell us your name. But um, what, your so what do you make of the training that is taking place here? Uh, so far as our journalists from Western and Central are concerned. Yeah, this training is trying to help our journalists to be able to have a, a, a little insight about our fishing industry, to be able to know the don'ts and the do's in the fishing industry, so that they'll be able to address themselves what the fishermen really need to know, and be able to also help us in the fishing industry to be able to let the fishermen know some of the social the illegalities that are going on mm -hmm. so that they will be able to stop such illegalities. So that we have dynamite fishing. People are going into dynamite fishing, blasting the fish in our waters. People are using chemicals to fish uh, to fish. And we are engaging this, the journalists to be able to help us to be able to 
voice the sins up so that the fishermen will hear all some of these things and stop for us. So when you say for the journalists to be aware, what is it that journalists are supposed to be aware and what kind of education, what rule you expect the journalists to be playing to complement what you do at the fisheries department? Yeah, as we have mentioned, we are trained the journalists to be able to know the fisheries laws, what the fisheries laws and things, what are the rules that we should not do this we should not do this. Now we are taking them through the things that the canoes, what the canoes are supposed to do, the light, the, the net that they are supposed to use, the net that they are not supposed to use, the fishing methods that they are supposed to engage in, the licensing, and now even we are, the government is going to moratorium where the, because the numbers of the canoes have gone up, where there is the need to stop and then put in the, the, some, the level where we cannot go more because we are, the fishes are going down. There's the need to stop the number of canoes that are going up so that we can reduce the effort that is in our fishing industry. So we want the fish, the, our journalists to help us to propagate some of these things. So that if we, since we are going into this moratorium, we want them to help us so that the fishermen will understand some of these things and be able to come up with this so that we can stop the number of canoes that they are being added all the time. All right, so that is the director of fisheries at the Western region. And uh, basically, uh, it's a partnership and they want to build the capacity of journalists so we can complement the role they play uh, in securing the fisheries that everybody says is collapsing. I want to go inside. I may not be able to get a facilitator to talk to us because it's currently facilitating, but I will try as much as we could to, of course, have what he's saying and get exactly some of the things he's talking about here. And in, 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 in such situation. So basically, that is what uh, it is. Uh, he'll be talking to us, so we'll be getting him whilst he's talking. All right. Dynamite. Boom. 60% down, the rest 40% correct. Light. I'm going to read the map here because there's no petrol. Petrol is when two boats. Are using one net to carry the fish. Yes. And finally, the monofilament net is also outlawed in the marine environment. You can use it okay. in the fresh water. Right. So, in the fresh water. that is what it is. Uh, they are, it's just talking to the journalists as to what they need to do and some of the challenges uh, we still face so far as the sector is concerned, being the use of dynamite and many other illegal things that our fishers continue to use in the sector. So basically that is what is happening here in Cape Coast currently.